Hello and welcome to another video tutorial brought to you by Octotuts.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at making reflections in Photoshop. So this is what our final effect is going to look like. Reflections have been used ever since Web 2.0 first came out. It's a really popular look and it's been used both in images and text. And it looks really nice, so let's go ahead and get started on teaching you guys how to recreate this effect. So when you're in Photoshop, click on File, New and you want to create a new image. I'm going to make my 1000 by 600 pixels. You can make yours whatever size you want and press OK. You want to start off by adding a nice Web 2.0 gradient for your background. And if you're looking for a good set of them, I'll have a link in the video description to download them. Uh, the video description is to the right if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're watching this on octotuts.com, then just scroll down and you'll find the video description over there. So I'm going to add my own Web 2.0 gradient overlay. Let's go ahead and find that, press OK and OK. Next you want to just type in the text for the that you're going to be using for the reflection. Uh, this step doesn't apply to if you're using this for an image obviously. Just have that image open and on top of this gradient overlay. Center the text or image and hold alt and just click and hold that text or image and drag it down. What that's going to do is duplicate that texture image. Next, click Edit, Transform, Flip Vertical. And that's going to flip that upside down. And now what we want to do is click the Mask tool. So it's going to be this button right here that says Add Ma Layer Mask. So click on that. Make sure your foreground color is set to black and your background color is set to white. Select your gradient tool and just make a simple gradient. Uh, just make that from the bottom of this text to the top. And that's from the bottom image or text, not the top one. And once you do that, you'll have your own reflection. And you can see it's already getting started. Now all you need to do is set the opacity to something lower than 100%. 100% is too much to call it a reflection. So I'll recommend something like 15, 20%. But you could just mess with the opacity to see what fits best for you. So that's it for this tutorial. This is the reflection look in Photoshop. As I said, you could do this with both text and images. I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. And that's it for this video. And this is octotoots.com. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.